You want to go with a goofy hat again on a big episode? It is the big one, isn't it? He kind of regretted that with the giraffe on episode 100. I almost always regret what I do. <laughs> <laughs> this should be in the show. Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. Scott here. Bart with the Pikachu hat that I'll probably regret. Episode 500. This is not a reflection of us. Well, it is. It's more a reflection of me. Springbank 12 cast strength. Let's test it. We're going, we're going to test it. Whoa. Hold on. We're going to test it. Pikachu style. 12-year cast strength style. <laughs> Episode 500 style. Test All right, Springbank 12-year-old cast strength. This was sent to us by a Super Scotch God. Coin 500. And he's going to get the Scotch God shout-out, which I just realized. We had we had a Scotch God shout-out planned. 400. 400. And Coin 500. 400. <laughs> and 500. These are going to go on eBay. That's good you're showing them. <laughs> All right. 500, 400. Scotch got shout out. Episode 500. These will go that. on eBay. Highest bidder wins, of course. Seven day, this seven day auction. So this episode will air our 500th episode. I know we've said it. We might say that a few times. I'm just to reiterate it. Uh, you're doing that. Um, I'm thinking July 28th. Wow. July 21st. Woo. July 21st, episode 500. So this will be a seven day auction for coins 400 and 500. On eBay until July 28th, it should end. Got it. So if you're watching this after July 28th of 2018, the auction is over. Coins 500 and 400 were sold to the highest bidder. The hat. So I like to wear it because the hat says, don't take me or us too seriously. Hmm. Would you agree that you should never take me too seriously? I agree. <laughs> <laughs> what about the us? Do you like the us part of that sentence? Take. You would sure. like to be taken more seriously, right? Sure. What? What? Don't, don't take us. Well, should you seriously. really take us too seriously? No. No. Should you take whiskey too serious? Well, I think there's a time to and there's a time no. not to. No. Whiskey is fun. Take, right. I don't think you should take whiskey too serious. I mean, we're on our 500th episode. If, I think we should... If someone bought a $50,000 bottle of scotch and they gave you a drink, would you take it seriously? No. That's, no. that's absurd. There's, there's the, so Put yourself there. Yeah. For a second. Right. We are at McAllen on tour. And they sit us down and they say, here's a 50-year-old okay. scotch. The distillery giving me a taste I think would be... Way more special than, I mean, let's say we've known a few people that are very wealthy, mm -hmm. just a few. So the first thing is if you're able to buy a 50,000 bottle of scotch, it's the equivalent of you and I probably buying, uh, I don't know, what would you say? Maybe the, the people I'm thinking of would be like us buying a $500 bottle. Maybe not even that. Quite honestly, maybe not even. Yeah, that. true. Depending yeah. on the level of wealth. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and what I would say, I wouldn't let the dollar factor of that whiskey get in the way of the whiskey. Now, it's easy to say. I've never had a $50,000 dram of whiskey. If a distiller was like, we want you to try something, um, I think that would be different because maybe they'd say, you know what, this is laid down 60 years ago. Most people, you can't buy this. This is not even something we sell. There's some intrinsic. That's all I said. There is, there is a time when whiskey is serious. And... Whiskey is fun. I would keep the $50,000 bottle fun, though. Well, sure, it's fun, but you, would you take it serious or lighthearted? Would you whip it around and throw it? <laughs> Give me another! <laughs> Got any Coke to put in here? Well, you no, some seltzer water? But I don't do that with $20 be bottles. More serious. I don't throw it out. Time. Maybe just being, a time being, to be, sometimes being, you're going to be serious. Being but. light is not throwing the whiskey out on the floor. Here's your $20 dram. Blah! We're having fun with it. I mean, I what are you talking about? That's not fun. I'm when throwing had, it out. When we had John Glazer on the show, it was fun, but we were serious. We attended to business. I would I would say we're fun. I mean, we didn't hang okay. up on him and prank call John. Prank call. Uh, 
<laughs> I know Bart's not getting it. He's not even. No, I'm getting what you're saying. Even. I'm just the the whole the whole mode is we our whole message is keep fun. whiskey fun, right? But I mean, does that mean we're not serious when we do the show? No, but it doesn't mean I throw it around. Oh, I'm wearing a Pikachu hat. Exactly. Dive into the spring bag. No, the Scotch God shout in. out, which we haven't got to, is V Rich. <laughs> and he's a Patreon supporter as well. He's taken care of us a couple of times. Yeah. And he had sent the Springbank 12 cast strength. We were coming up on episode 500. So let's do it. We've said it's a perfect 500. Something special came from a fan. We like that. We like to recognize that. Thanks, V Rich. Um, Springbank is highly sought after. Uh, we can't get. I've never seen this here. Have you? You see no, it more often. No, in fact, it Rainier out of Plaza has been trying to right. get it brought in. His hat's hot. Still <laughs> unsuccessful. <laughs> <laughs> we have the the Springbank Ten shows up here. Right. It's you know in several stores. Like fully in Kim. Um, Auburn procured one bottle of a twenty year single cask ex bourbon refill, which I bought. We've seen there's a there's a Springbank 14 year out kind of a uh, I don't think it's ex bourbon. I've they're seen, a smaller but, distillery. They don't even distill to capacity. Oh, there is one two stores that have both the 18 year and the 21 year, but those are the higher. That's Groves and Plaza both. And I mean they have and they're, they're getting the higher end right. bottles anyway of, right. of, of of a lot of spirits. That's the only place I've seen it. In Scotland, our sources there tell us we've got a couple of good sources. Roy is one. Springbank in Scotland is kind of like the Van Winkle line of bourbons here. Highly allocated, sought after, rarely on the shelf. Hmm. People run in kind of like they do around here. Y'all pappy, they just run in and go, you got any spring? Yep. You got any spring? <laughs> I'd like to get some spring. Right. Okay. Now, this nose is unique. Mm -hmm. The nose is slightly sour to me there is what, saying bad right there is a lot of people say a spring bank funk that is a very apt description mm -hmm. because yeah i pick up a little something dirty feet even <laughs> it, it, it has some of that dirty feet smell Remember now, go back. We've had we've had noses of dirty sure, feet, and sure. then the palate blows you away. Right, totally. You're talking about the Glen Livet Bedour peated cask. See, I get yes. some cherry, some the rind or the skin of the cherry. Uh, maybe even a fermentation that's gone on a little bit. Fifty-six and a half percent. High percentage. So, but yeah, okay. So some people literally call it the spring bank funk. Yeah. Okay. I would like to know what what mm -hmm. what that nose is. Now we messed up also because there is some peat in here. I'm not necessarily getting it on the nose. Maybe it's being contributed to or covered up with the funk a little bit. Remember the ten year old when we yeah. first tasted it, not we were like, "There's no peat here." Yeah, I know. And there is. We've had it since. It's right. there. We I've just whatever it's for whatever. Subtle and slight. That, I don't know. That what? one night we didn't get it, and we were roasted in the comments on that <laughs> video. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wore the dunce cap that we'd come out with mm. one time. I wore the the dunce cap, and we were like, we apologize. <laughs> we were wrong. The Springbank tin is peated. You made me wear a Pikachu hat as punishment. <laughs> Maltiness, the funk, the spring bank funk. I get a little bit of the funk in the taste too, my friend. Mm -hmm. Citrus sweetness. Boy, I get two things. I get a, uh, a white grape, mm. but then I get that spring bank funk mm. on the taste. And then I get uh, maybe a little bit of grapefruit. Ooh. That is, to me, rich and good. Full palate. Oak. For a 12-year-old castrain and it's high ABV. Comes out. Vanillas. Sugar sweetness. Powdered sugar. The funk 
kind of overrides this for me, though. Mm. Have you tasted it yet? Mm -hmm. I get a sulfur. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's like a sulfur from a from a, a struck match. Those strong stout wooden matches that come in the big box with the red label. You know, almost a very slight sherry influence, and I don't know if this is sherry or not. There is a. I tell you, this hat's hot. <laughs> Shouldn't be wearing this in July or, I guess, August. Hot. What are you reading? Nothing in the notes about sherry influence. Um. Woo. Hold on. Peak juice coming off. Caramelized, should be caramelized, toasted marshmallows, vanillas, peppers. I think my spouse. Citrus marmalade on toast. All right. One of the old ones. My boonie hat. Mm. That is too small, as you say, for my head. I'm switching. It's got my rank from when I was in the Army. Woo. I have to admit, I wasn't impressed, as impressed with this off the bat as a lot of people online seem to be. The fun gets me. I still like it. It's good. I'm just saying I'm not buying into the, the high scores you might see from some other reviewers. I get I'm gonna, I get a maltiness. I get a little bit of a wine influence, and I don't know why. Don't know why I'm getting the wine influence on it, but then that... I think your son is trying to say mom's he is, home. yeah. Mom's home. He wanted to let me know mom's home. And then there was a lot of shh. Um, huh, boy, that turns out a knit cap in July is not always the best move. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. I haven't seen your score. For me, this is... This didn't hit me good. 83. Hmm, that's what low. Got, 80, I want 88. Hmm. I think maybe I had higher expectations with some of the reviews and some of the other stuff that some of the other reviewers are saying. I don't think it's bad. I, um, $79 is what V-Rich paid for it. I would be, I, I think I would be hard-pressed to buy another bottle. I think the 10-year comes off better it does this one hits me where let me describe the funk a little bit so the funk hits me mostly in the finish i get a nice malty open and a little bit of what i'm kind of saying is almost like a port finish hint mm. and then i slide in it's just me yeah then i slide into the funk and and when you said some people describe the nose as dirty feet i get that a little bit on the taste my son's now not happy apparently he didn't like my review um and I get that in the finish, and it turns a bit sour for me. So for me personally, maybe it'll change as it opens up, but I don't know why I'm getting that. But but it's like a musky, sour taste on the finish. Kind of like if, uh, oh, I don't know, like a, it almost reminds me of a wine that's kind of been sat out or it's starting to go a little bit vinegary-ish. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know that I would make the wine comparison, but a little vinegary-ish I can see. What about peat? Do you get peat? There's supposed to be a slight. I don't really get peat. I almost get a un, like a more like a unpeated Buna Haben type yeah. note almost. Kind of like a salty. Yeah, I get a salty. You're a good call on the salty. If there's peat in there, it's just it's just like a little hint, and then maybe that's what even takes it over to the funk. I don't know. This one misses for me. Um, I appreciate everything they do. When I circular do the circular inhalation, all I get in the circular inhalation is a little bit of the funk. So it's like I'm reinforcing the aftertaste when I do it. 
It's almost like the funk's more in the nose of it than in the flavor, but of course the nose is powerful in picking up flavors, so. Hmm. Uh, don't, don't wear the stocking cap. <laughs> We've got a traveling dummy to do and our a Patre couple Patreon shout outs for new supporters that came in. Great. Let's Episode 500, have we said? It 500. Is zero, zero, five, zero, zero. I don't know what I was doing there. That's Woo! What I was looking for. What do you got? He's bringing oh, it up. Over here. Bringing it up. We got a little. Uh, Carl snooping. von Volligam. Mm -hmm. He traveled to Italy. He's got a picture in Rome it's at gorgeous. the Trevi Fountain. And, and he's holding up. The coin is out of focus, but he's holding it up in front of the Trevi Fountain. And the fountain's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Very gorgeous. nice. Gorgeous. It's kind of like, I, that resembles me. <laughs> is it marble? I don't is know. that what a lot of that is made of? No, it looks good, though. In the ancient. It's gorgeous. Rome. Yeah, gorgeous. Interesting times, I'm sure. Carl Van Bulligan. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Great pick. And the traveling dummies. Patreon shout out. Mm -hmm. We got. Uh, We've got a one dollar. We have two to roll through here. A one dollar supporter, right. Aaron Ash or Osh. Yeah, this is A S C H E. Is it Ashe? Ashe or is it Ash? Ash. So let's go with Aaron. Aaron Ash. Raster. Oh, it's a one dollar. Nope. One dollar supporter. Thanks, Aaron, Aaron for Ash. your support. Thank you, sir. You Thank betcha. You. Walter Miller is a two dollar supporter. Ooh, and we can all say Walter Miller without even worrying about the pronunciation. Yep. Raster. Walter, Walter Miller. Miller. Woo That's right, Walter. Thank you. My wife loves when we yell like that. She'll be upstairs. Especially at midnight. Are they yelling at? Yeah, midnight. yeah. When it's late, we're yelling. It's not midnight right now. It's not. It's more midday. Um, again on Patreon. So you can come in and support us. Go to Patreon. It's a uh, funding site where if you're a fan of the show, you can come in and help support the show. The show stays free. You can come in and support us for as little as a dollar a month. It's set up for per episode, but you could say one dollar and then you can cap your donation at a dollar. We have some people that cap donations. Something fell down. I don't think it was a body. Some uh, cap all the way up to forty dollars, fifty dollars. So. Yeah. All depends on what's going on. But you can go to patreon.com, just put in Scotch Test Dummies. We come right up. You can support us. The show will always stay free, but we love our Scotch Gods. And there's some little cool incentive things as people support along the way. And you get, um, not only do you get uh, some, some shows that are just for Patreons, but when we do the 12 Hours of Boom, which we just did, you have a higher chance of winning. So because we do giveaways... Uh, for any and everybody, as long as you're a subscriber. And then, as you know, we also do giveaways just for our Patreon supporters. What yeah. else? What else? Uh, so, 500, 500 episodes. We started October 19... Or 1900. How about 2013? Sure, that was good. October 19th. 18th of 2013 was our first episode. Right. We are coming up on our five-year anniversary, Ooh. and we are planning a five-year Scotch God gathering. Yeah. Just in celebration yeah. in Wichita. Whiskey gathering. Scotch whiskey gathering. There's details up on our website. Go to scotchtestdummies.com. Uh, there's a page set up for the five, I think it's called the five-year anniversary gathering. The whole idea. We've, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, well, we've worked with a, a hotel here. We've got a block of rooms. If you want to come into town, we've got a, a, a tasting and a steak dinner set up for Friday night. Tickets are available online. Mm -hmm. Saturday night is a little bit more laid back. We're at a local barbecue place that has an out, outdoor and an indoor venue. Uh, combines, we'll have live music there. Cousin Shane, Shakes Pennington, yep. maybe somebody else there with them. So we'll still be hanging out. Uh, so the block of rooms are, is at the Drury uh, downtown Drury Plaza, Inn. Broadview, or something like that. Here's what I like about the Drury Inn. Go look at it online. Of course, it's in Wichita. It's a real old, old uh, hotel. There's this huge front like vestibule. I mean, we're talking big. And in that area, they've got all these little circular couches and regular couches and chairs. And it's a perfect gathering. I picture Scott and I down there, 80 to 100 whiskey fans gathered. And we're all just mingling in this open area. And we're we're chatting and we're no longer virtually. We'll get 100 people into a virtual show. If we can get 100 people to show up for the real show and be hanging out, I just think mm. it's going to be magical. Yep. And uh, this is our first. If it goes well, we're going to do more. So you want to be there for the first one. So you can say, 
I was at the first. That's right. October 19th and 20th. We did not say October that. October 19th and 20th, 2018. First annual. We will have some uh, whiskey gathering. Some special merchandise just for those that um, mm -hmm. buy tickets and come to events. Because the merchandise helps us keep the show free, baby. Free. That's right. Free. Anything else? I think that's going to be fun. October 19th and 20th. I think that's it. I always want to say the 18th because I'm so used to that's our anniversary date. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just, but, all right. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Slauncha. Hello, big Jim. Oh, go to eBay, 400 and 500. Ooh, you cannot get the hat. Slauncha, dummies. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye. That is warm. <laughs>